Good day, my name is Amiel Spencer and today I will be showing you how to install and set up your own email server. So first you're going to go to the browser and go and do a search for HMail server. It should be the first link. What you're going to select is the download page. You can go directly there and we're going to select the latest build of HMail server to install save it to your desktop or whichever area you prefer it should take just a few seconds for it to download once you're finished downloading you could run the installation click one next agree to the terms and conditions next Make sure server administrative tools are selected. You're going to leave that the default use built in database engine. Next, we're going to put administrative password for each mail server. And the installation is going to run. Now we're going to run each mail in administrative mode. So you just select finish. Make sure automatically connect on startup is selected. And we're going to select connect. It will ask you for your password. Same password that you're entering during installation, the same password you're using here. Click OK. And this window should open up. Now we're going to sign up for a DNS for our email server. So you're going to go back to the browser and we're going to do a search for no IP. Alright, this should be the first link no IP. And once you select that link, it should take you to this page. You can scroll through to check out the different features and information. But what you're going to do, you're going to sign up for a free account. So select sign up. And we're going to enter in our information. So. Password. As you can see, you can select the different, they give you a set of different options you can select from. But unfortunately, we're going with the free version, so we only have one option. Once you finish selecting, just go to the bottom of the page and select free sign up. And your new DNS domain should have been created. You will need to go to your email to confirm the account. Once you do that, you'll be able to access all the services of no IP. So as you can see, once it is, you go to your email and select the link to activate your account. It should take you to this page. And as you can see, my account is activated. What we're going to go to now is verify host name setting. And as you can see here, this is our DNS domain name. And this is what we're going to be using for our email. So if you bring back up HMail server, what we're going to do, we're going to add domain. I'm going to type in the domain we just created exactly as you see it on the page. Once you have added it in, click save. Now we're going to create a new account for our new email server. So you're going to select accounts. I'm going to select add. This window should open up. We're going to stick basically in the general tab. And we're going to create a new email. So you could just type in someone's name. 
NT new password. You could specify a name, but that's not needed in this tutorial. And once you finish this, select save. And there, you have created a new email. So, thank you very much for watching. That was how to install and create your own email server. Have a nice day.